Hey guys, Eddie Gray here with thepipenook.com. Back in the West Parlor here at Gray Manor. And I'm just finishing up, I think it just went out actually, just finishing up my first bowl of Pegasus in my new Jamestown clay pipe from Missouri Meerschaum, which you can find on the website. I made a video about that. Uh, earlier today, but I'm going to post this video a few days later. I did want to tell you, wanted to talk a little bit about um, pipe filters because you guys know typically I smoke uh, with either a 6 millimeter or 9 millimeter filtered pipe, uh, charcoal filtered pipe, and that alleviates tongue bite for me. Now, Sipping this little guy, this clay pipe, I'm amazed that I haven't had an issue, at least with this Burley-based blend, uh, with tongue bite at all. But typically I do, um, with cob pipes and briar pipes and mortars, even uh, meerschaums. Uh, so I would say clay is probably your best bet for smoking an unfiltered pipe uh, if you have issues with tongue bite. Now, your mileage may vary. Um, you may still have an issue with tongue bite if you, you, know, you have a proclivity towards tongue bite uh, with a clay, but it works the best for me out of any other material, apparently. And that's saying that after just one, one small bowl, but I mean, I smoked it all the way down. It's just a smaller bowl. But uh, I didn't have any issue with it, and I smoked it about 25 minutes. Is about how long this bowl lasted with me sipping on it. Um, but another interesting thing that I found out, you know, this is not going to take the place of me smoking filtered pipes daily. Uh, this will just be a once in a while thing. I'll use this to, to test new tobaccos with, I think. Uh, really like this pipe, but not going to take the place of my filtered pipes. The other thing I wanted to mention is apparently, you know, it's been a while since I've smoked a pipe candidly without a filter in place or when I smoke non-filtered pipes typically I'm using something like where's that? I don't even have it out here. Typically I'm using something like Denacool crystals, filter crystals in the bottom of the bowl of an unfiltered pipe. I didn't do that with this because there's just not enough room really. But uh, filtering your pipes does take apparently some nicotine out of the smoke as well because smoking this unfiltered, even though it was a small bowl, I'm feeling the nicotine uh, more than I would if I smoked like a standard sized, you know, medium sized briar pipe. Um, so that tells me that obviously uh, charcoal filters do in fact mitigate nicotine in your smoke as well. Some of you may not like that. Some of you may be like, ah, that means I can use a filtered pipe when I want to smoke um, a tobacco that typically is too much nicotine for me, like maybe an old dark fired or something like that. Um, Peterson's Irish Flake, I'm looking at you, tends to mitigate uh, nicotine, I would say. So Pegasus is not a high nicotine blend either. Um, it, it, it's not light, but I would say it's a medium nicotine blend towards the lighter end of the spectrum. And I can still feel the nicotine in this pipe unfiltered. So I just wanted to mention that to you guys. Uh, if you're looking to mitigate nicotine in particular blends, you might want to use a charcoal filtered pipe. So we're just going to leave this uh, a short one. And uh, glad you got to see me. I'll chat with you later.